Hey there, fellows. So today we'll be doing something from the realm of popular science, I don't know. Now, honestly, it's a very simple idea. One we've been pondering for a while, and since we keep getting reminders, we've decided to finally go through with it. Now, you might remember how some time ago we took a lot on totally bald tires and stuck band-aids to the ladder to see if we can improve their traction. The results were actually pretty amazing. As for what we want to try in this one, well, it's a similar concept. And looking at this, it should be pretty obvious to you from the get-go. Now, on a new winter tire, the tread depth is somewhere around like 10 to 12 mil, but this one is almost totally worn. And so, here I've got some 88 grade glue, which is supposedly an improved formula, and some very coarse sandpaper. As for the plan, you guessed it. We'll cut the paper, degrease the tires. I've got my degreaser right here. So make them nice and clean, apply some glue, and wrap sandpaper around the tires. Then we fit the tires to a car and see whether the sandpaper does anything for us. What do you guys think? Is it going to do anything? We're going to go to the test track, which is currently covered in ice. And that's exactly what we need to test these. So yeah, let's stick this on and go have some fun. Wait, have you seen our new Freddy-style t-shirt? If not, hit the link in the description. If you're still here, you should know that aside from a new t-shirt, we offer a lot of other different merch, bearing the Garage 54 logo. Past payment issues have been solved, and now you can send payment for your order even via PayPal. So if you'd like to treat yourself, a friend, or a relative to some awesome Garage 54 merch, hit the link in the description to head on over to our shop. And don't forget to use the promo code for a solid discount. Now back to the video. Using sandpaper for more grip on ice, will it work? Originally uploaded in the summer, yes the summer, because Siberia is like that of 2019. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. It's been 24 hours since we stuck the sandpaper on, and according to the instructions, the glue should be dry by now. I've attempted to tear it off, and it is stuck on there well. Now, honestly, now I'm sure you all know that on any piece of sandpaper, you'll find an arrow that designates which way you swipe it depending on the grit texture. Anyway, despite us paying attention in the process, we totally forgot which way we put them on. But then it doesn't really matter, I guess. Now we're gonna take this car out onto the ice and see how well these are gonna grip out there. Let's see which is better. A regular studded tire or a makeshift sandpaper covered one. Let's do this. We're looking good, guys. We're at the test track, and the ice out here is great. 
I've just been out on it. It is very slippery. Now we're going to be using our classic testing method. We'll start by going out on regular off-the-shelf tires. I'll accelerate in a straight line and use a race logic to measure the acceleration times from zero to various speeds, like 40, 50 k's. On this surface, we won't have all that much traction, so who even knows if this is gonna work? It'll be really cool if it does. I'm also gonna mark the start of a braking area and test the braking distance. First on regular tires, and then on those wonderful friction tires, I guess you can call them. The ones we stuck sandpaper to. This is going to be pretty interesting. What do you guys think? Will we see some positive results or not? I mean, this is some gritty sandpaper. Anyway, it is high time to head out. Because, well, as always, tomorrow it's going to be minus 40. For now it's slightly warmer, somewhere around minus 30, so yeah, let's go. All right, inside the car it's nice and warm. Let's see how the car accelerates on these tires. Well, we do have some traction, although it does leave a lot to be desired. But then, these aren't racing tires by any means. They're very much of the type that's meant for use on public roads. Pull a quick U-turn and stop to check the results. How fast did I even go? Show me something? Thank you. I want to see the 0 to 40 and 50 times. 11.8 to 40. 14.9 to 50. Seriously? Okay, now we're gonna do something different. We are still on the same tires of the store-bought variety. I'll accelerate to 40 kilometers an hour while running that their instrument and slam the brakes. The guys are gonna... They're gonna mark the entry point into the braking zone. Hopefully I have enough room to get to 40. Let's see, shall we? I just set off in second. To spare us any trouble. I think I saw 38.8. But the car still started to go sideways. This obviously doesn't have ABS. I've got unstable traction. Did I lock up all four? You did. Locked up all four. Due to the unstable grip, the car was starting to go sideways. In that moment when the wheels are on the verge of spinning, you get a quick shove and... That's 40. All right, awesome. Made it to the same exact spot where we placed that wheel. The guys are waving their arms. We did well here. Both attempts were a success. Okay, so we just had a look. You know what, I'm gonna measure the distance in meters anyway. Well, in footsteps, I mean. Because for whatever reason, nobody has brought a tape measure. I guess they wanted to eyeball it then? Yeah, good luck arguing with that. Anyway, we'll figure out how long it took the studded tires to stop, and then we're gonna try out these friction tires. If that's even a thing. Right, let's fit them and go for a ride. Okay guys, we're at the starting line. I've reset the race logic. Time for an acceleration test. I have no idea what it's going to do. Here we go. Wow, what can I even say? These actually grip way better. 
which is reflected in the results. Okay, here's what we're looking at. 8 seconds to 40, 11 to 50. It used to be 11 to 40. Wow, the sandpaper worked. Oh, I've spun the wheels this time. I've got wheel spin. That was a healthy shove in third. What have we got? 10.3 to 40, 12.8 to 50. Let's try that one more time. Reset the thing. Excellent. And we're off. Oh, wow, that's icy. Easy, take it easy. Slowing down. All right. That's 7.1 to 40. What was the 50 time? 9.8. And that tells us what now? That it actually does something. We are using regular sandpaper, albeit it is pretty coarse. And it has honestly improved the car's acceleration. Let's try braking now. Here we go. We want to see 40 kilometers an hour. I think we should be all right. I'm not going to make it. Nope, I was bang on. Ah oh man, we're sliding. I hit the brakes, locking up all four. You know what I just felt? At first it gave me a shove, the car started to decelerate, but then the sandpaper began accumulating snow and at that point I was sliding. The abrasive area on the sandpaper was no longer doing anything, with so much snow stuck to it. So here's what's up. When I was braking on the studded tires, I started to brake next to that wheel. To me that looks like maybe about 13 meters. Yeah, sounds about right. Now we look that way. It appears to have slided maybe another 5 meters forward. So that's a pretty drastic increase in the stopping distance on sandpaper. Again, that's because the snow is sticking to it. I say we do another control run. It's just that this patch of the test track that we're using... It so happens that they use this same exact area for cold weather extreme driving lessons. And though it appears to be an icy surface, there's actually a bit of snow here and there, which isn't doing us any good. But the sandpaper seems to be holding up quite well, actually. I mean, I do see a crack, but overall it's looking all right. Okay, let's do that again. I need to see exactly 40 Ks. It is plowing right through. Though it doesn't seem to lose grip. Like straight away. I do like how they propel the car. Not bad. Initiating a drift. They're behaving pretty well. Though not quite on par with racing tires. On the other hand, it doesn't feel like a summer tire either. See that? 
That was awesome. This tire seems to have found a bit of grip, so much in fact that it has unseated itself from the wheel, which tells us that the sandpaper is actually good for something. It really does bite down into the ice. Well, when it's clean, anyway. It's really not all that great when the ice is powdered with snow. At the end of the day, the acceleration times were much better, but the braking was much worse, due to all of the snow and ice sticking to the contact patch. It breaks all right at first, but it's not long before it begins to slide. Overall, we're good, this worked, if not the full 107%. Anyway, the experiment was a tremendous success. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a like. Alright, catch you later.